Well, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. Glad to have you here with me. We are going to be jumping into the conference part of our schedule. Uh, so let's check that out. So currently four and seven. We lost some games we probably should have won, but we got but we got our conference schedule going on now, and so hopefully we can pull it off like, like I said all we have to do is just not finish last that's that is what we need to accomplish I actually I do want to check our depth chart here because I, I have some people that just aren't getting what I want them to get uh, let's set by minutes I'd rather I, I think that it kind of gets weird if you um, set it differently. Johnson keeps fouling out, so I'm going to give him 24, but he keeps fouling out, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, Hunter. Rock is hurt. So I kind of need to keep him out for the next game. I want to give him. I want to give Grundy a lot more minutes. We'll get uh, rocks hurt. Collins. Whoop. Ten. 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 Let's see what that looks like. want to all right so shooting guard here I I need to get Ewing some minutes here um. and let's get Dowling Those guys don't get enough minutes as freshmen. I want to get them some minutes, so. Um, let's do that. So I need a shooting guard here. I'm going to do, oh, Grundy's already in. So let's do, we'll do Collins. Oh, we don't have a point guard there. Um, so I kind of need him. And then I need my shooting guard, which will be... Ooh, I'm not playing Rogers at all. Um, what year is he? He's a sophomore. I need to get him in more. So... All right, so let's do small forward for him, shooting guard for him. There we go. Oh wait, Roger. I meant Rogers, not Flores. There we go. Okay, now that should be good. All right, as we head into the conference schedule, here's the top 25, just in case that was something that's interesting you. The net rankings were three, like 315, I think, something like that. No, <laughs> are we worse than that? Uh, where are we? Let's look at dashboard. 312, 312. So let's, let's go back just to find ourselves. There we are, 312. <laughs> oh, we got a long way to go, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Uh, standings real quick, just to show those off. 
We're dead in the middle. If we can stay there for the entire year, I will be perfectly fine with it. Alrighty, let's get to game day. Alrighty, here we go. Game day. Eh, let's look at the game preview. So they have a good player. No injured players, that's good. So Casey rocks back. They've lost two in a row, so... I mean, it looks... We're, we're pretty even. They do a much better job shooting than we do, but here we go. All right. We got a loss. Played better in the second half. Personal foul. McConnell fouled out. Man, he only got 12 minutes. We did play more people, which is what I was wanting. Uh, we shot terrible from three-point. Hmm. Maybe I need to adjust some of my playing a little bit. Uh, Johnson played well. I mean, zero. In a game like this where you lose by nine, if you can come out zero, you're doing pretty good. Grundy came out as a plus five. Grundy just plays so well. I almost need to just put him in the starting lineup. I might do that. We'll give one more game. If it doesn't pan out better, I may just put him in the starting lineup. All right, I'm going to switch this to favor inside a little bit more because we tend to be shooting a lot of threes, and we obviously are not making them as a team. I'm even curious here. Field goal percentage. I mean, our three-point percentage is, yeah, 243rd. I guess that's not good. Neither is our field goal percentage, so we, we are going to favor more inside and see if that doesn't help us and we'll play one more game and adjust accordingly all right we got the win this time man so that simple little thing what was our shooting percentage so much better so now that could have been because the eastern illinois just stinks i guess but our percentage was much better so that might have been a good adjustment for us Cox had 19 points. Goodness, good job. 15 for Mel Watkins. Graham's at 16. And then Hunter had 12. Grundy only had 5. What about rebounds? McConnell did good. McConnell just gets the rebounds. He just knows how to get rebounds. Anybody else do anything? Watkins had 6 assists. 6 rebounds at 15 points. That is, Yeah, he deserved, definitely deserved to be player of the game for sure. McConnell had 3 blocks too. Goodness. We did really, really, really well this game. Our personal fouls were down. So, interesting. Over here, Crooks had 16. Williamson off the bench with 14. But, yeah, we did much better. Had second chance points. They had the fast break points. And, wow, we didn't have many points in the paint, which is interesting for focusing on the inside. But, whatever. Got the win. All right, I didn't pull off the win on this one, which is disappointing because I thought we had a real shot at winning this one, but we did not. Lost it heavily in the second half. Um, fouls were still down. Grundy had more fouls, but we did okay. Shooting per oh my word, we shot terrible. Like we shot real bad. Um, did, did we just turn the ball over a lot? I mean, I guess so. 12, 12 turnovers. They had more turnovers than we did. That is weird. We just did not m match up well, play well, something. Something didn't work out for us, so. Alrighty. Alright, they're saying that I've got the advantage at small forward. They have the advantage at point guard. They run a slow place offense with a lot of offensive freedom. They rarely seem to press. They play man to man. Their best player is Corey Snyder. I just want to look at their guys here. Can 
I see their roster. Yes. Okay, what's their defense look like? So point guard. They have a couple scores, I guess. He's a red shirt. We're going to go heavy inside on this one. Didn't pull this one out. Let's see how close we got, though. Uh, Cox played well, 19. Watkins didn't do so hot. Graham and Johnson played well, even with playing heavy inside was there I mean we shot really well but just couldn't beat him I mean they sh they did shoot worse than we did well I guess they shot better they did shoot better we shot better in the three-point land than they did and they made more free throws which helped them beat us Let's check the standings. Are we in last? We're not. <laughs> we're still. We're ahead of Murray State. Okay. Uh, we got to stay ahead of them. We got to win some games, though. All right. So Eastern Kentucky, they run a normal paced offense with a lot of freedom. They do a balanced attack. They rarely press. They play man to man. Okay. We, I mean, I feel like we should beat them. We've got the advantage down low, so we're definitely going to keep the same strategy we had last game of going inside, and it's a 50-50 game pretty much. How did we lose that game? They shot awful. We shot worse. <laughs> like, they were terrible. I mean, we got in foul trouble. Watkins played pretty well. Man, McConnell almost had a trip. Or, no, he didn't have a triple double. I read that wrong. But he almost had a double double. So did Cox. I almost feel like I need to switch Grundy and Cox. I'm starting to feel like maybe that's a switch I need to make. All right, so their best defenders are actually two. They kind of are better inside, so I may go do more of a balanced approach with these guys <clears throat> just because they have better defenders inside. All right, winner, 86-80. They came back in the second half. They just couldn't come back enough. Uh, we didn't have anybody foul out. Wow, they had two guys foul out. Mel Watkins, 30 points. That is big time. John McConnell, consistent with his eight rebounds. Grundy, Grundy got more time. 5-4-1. Yeah, he did pretty good. Fox did good too. Seven, seven points, four rebounds. Yeah, Mel, got Mel Watkins, player of the game, two blocks too. Definitely player of the game. So let's the, check the standings here after six conference games. We are in fourth from the bottom, so we're doing well. We're on pace for <laughs> not finishing last. That's all we need. Now, how many games do we have left here? Let's check that out. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more games. Okay. So plenty of time for them to catch back up. All right. They have more defense on 
the perimeter. So I'm going to go a little more inside on these guys. All right, winner. Got a few games in a row here. Watkins is really starting to come up. Nine for ten. <laughs> that dude missed one shot. All right. Like seeing that Grundy did well. Ten points. Hunter, 14 off the bench. That's nice. They did really well. We shot lights out, too. Almost 60%. That's insanely good. I mean, they shot really well, too. But we just shot way better. That's good to see. We beat them in both halves, too. Well, Southeast Missouri State is supposed to just destroy us, according to everything I've seen. They're pretty balanced. Um, power forward is their main one. I think I'm just going to keep it where it's at. I mean, they're pretty much saying we're going to get beat no matter what. And they do have a lot of very good overall talent. So kind of is what it is. We'll see if we can play well. And as we thought might happen, they really destroyed us. They had a really a lot of really good talent, though. Graham had a really good game. Watkins still did okay. Um, nobody from the bench really did a whole lot. In fact, the bench is where we lost the game heavily, outside of Ewing doing well. Um, yeah, I mean, our bench just got beat up. So... Their bench didn't do real hot against us, but they played their starters enough that our bench just couldn't keep up with them. Well, this game is supposed to be pretty even, but man, they are good defensively. I, I am going to be very surprised if we win this game. Like, they are a good team. And they're eleven and eight with a five and three record. Where are we sitting in the standings right now? We are still fourth from the bottom. All right. If we can somehow pull this off, <laughs> we will. We'll jump up there, but I don't think we will. They're right here. They're fighting for first place, so I doubt it. Well, we did lose. How do we do though? I mean, we played all right. Watkins, Cox, Graham. We're shooting a lot better since we started doing some of these adjustments. They shot way better than us. We just couldn't keep up with them. Yeah, we just couldn't keep up with them. We knew that was going to happen, though. That's, that's how it goes. Well, we're supposed to lose this game, but I think we got a shot. They definitely have better players than we do. I still think we have a shot at this. Their inside does well. Their or their outside, like their wing players are good. Their inside game isn't that good. So I think I'm going to do heavy inside and see just how we shake out in this. Big win. One point win. Oh. This is where I would love to have the play-by-play. -play. If you sim it, just to, I mean, it may be, maybe it may be in here, and I just don't know where to look for it. That, that could be true. I and I just don't know where to find it. Um, I've looked though, and I, I just haven't been able to find it. But uh, I really do like how you can sim and see all of the stats. I just wish you could see the play by play too, just to kind of get an idea of how your players played in it. But whatever. They, I, I think Draft Day Sports does a really good job with this, and I'm sure they'll just keep improving it over time. Grundy did well off the bench. Hunter did really well off the bench. Even Fox did pretty good off the bench. Um, Ten assists for Graham. That's nice. 20 points for Cox. That's cool. Good job, guys. And that win keeps us fourth from the bottom. <laughs> I think we have six games left. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight games left. Okay, eight games left. And one, two, no. One. Probably one is definitely winnable with Murray State. 
then we have three, five, and five, four, five, and five. So if we can even split those and get three more wins, I think we'll avoid the bottom. So we'll see how that goes. Well, escorting, escorting, according to the scouting report, there we go, according to the scouting report, this team is just supposed to destroy us. So, but once again, it's a lot of wing players. So maybe we can do enough on the inside to win the game. We'll see. Well, we won. So that tells you what the scouting report knows. And we killed them. So, like, I mean, that first half, they just, it's like they didn't show up. They had a guy foul out. They shot very poorly. We did really well. Who was the player again? Jake Graham. 20 points, 4 assists, 5 rebounds. That's pretty good. 10 points for Johnson, 13, 12 for Watkins. He had a really good game. Cox even did, 10-5. McConnell still got eight rebounds. He doesn't score, but he can he can get all that. Hunter did well. Yep, we did. We did good. We got our got done what we needed to get done. All right, so they may have even put us. I wonder if that put us up above fourth from the bottom. It did. All right. We, <laughs> I can actually start from the top now, and say we're in seventh place. And really, we're only three games out of first now. Or actually four games out of first, but I know we're not catching them. They, Southeast Missouri State, Southern Nashville, Clarksville, they all handled us very easily. So we may have a shot at like four through seven, but that's about it. All right, we're playing Jacksonville State again. And when we played them before, we beat them. And Mel Watkins did really well. So we're going to try to do just the same thing then. Let's see if that causes us to win. And we beat him again. Look at us. We're going to mess around and have a average record. <laughs> Watkins put, played really well again, just like he did before. 24-7-3, two blocks, one steal. Graham played really well too. I mean, Cox even did well. He had six rebounds. Yeah, did really well. Um, Hunter did good off the bench with the points. We did well. 7-7. Seven, seven. McConnell just, he's like, oh, he got four blocks too. Goodness. McConnell's just like old faithful with the rebounds. He just keeps consistently getting rebounds. It's pretty cool. All right, we're going into Eastern Illinois. They are currently behind us in the standings, so it'd be nice to get a win here. This would actually put us above 500 in the conference, which would be pretty amazing. That would be neat to see. We're up to 257 in the net rank, so we've gone just in the, our conference. We've gone from, like, what was it, 321 or I don't know, it was something ridiculous. We were near the bottom, and we've gone to 257. Uh, and we've just done some adjustments and things, so... Um, pretty cool to see that happening. Let's check our schedule. Just to, ch I want to revisit Eastern Illinois. So we beat them last time. And, I mean, it was a whole lot of all of it, so it didn't really matter. I think I'm going to check their roster because I don't remember what we played against them. So they played pretty balanced. I'm just going to keep it where it's at. We're on a winning streak. We're trying to figure it out. I'm going to keep it going. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. So handled our business there pretty good, too. Uh, Watkins, once again, that guy is playing great. Uh, McConnell, nine rebounds. Old Faithful getting the rebounds. Uh, we, we actually got a lot of rebounds there from De Collins had eight assists off the bench. He didn't score any. Grundy with 17 points. Man. And Hunter with 10. Uh, that's big from Grundy off the bench. So cool to see. All right. Moorhead State. Uh, we should beat them. 
So we'll see if we can win these last couple of games. We we could finish the game or finish the season 500, which would be absolutely shocking. But here we go. All right, we got the win. We've got uh, yeah, so we beat him in the second half, tied at halftime. Watkins with 31 points. That guy is playing amazing. Six rebounds. You know, I saw that we had a player injured. I think it's Hunter. Yeah, hamstring, 14 days. He's going to be out. That's not good. Collins had 13 points off the bench. Graham, 15. Cox, 10. We're doing well figuring this out a little bit. If you can believe it, we are fourth in our conference. That is amazing. <laughs> that is so absolutely amazing that we are fourth in our conference. Uh, with, is it two games to go? Four games to go. I keep thinking 26. It's 28 games. So with four games to go. So we've got a shot here at uh, pulling out maybe two games. If we could get two of those four, that'd be cool. We'll see. All right, our last game against Clarksville did not go well. Let's check their roster one more time. I mean, it seems like we should be able to go inside. Like, it doesn't seem like they should be as good as they are, but they keep playing well. So I guess we'll see. All right, we won again. Barely pulled that one off. I, I mean, to me, we should have beat them. Like, it's just my opinion, but, I mean, we should have beat them. And did Hunter play? I mean, I guess he played, but he's hurt. It doesn't seem to be affecting him. He's still got 11 days. I, I don't know. We'll let it go, I guess, for now until something pops up with it. But Steve Cox was the player of the game. Uh, maybe. I mean, they're pretty equal stuff in here. McConnell played pretty well, too. He had two steals. That's pretty cool. Collins had three steals off the bench. Grundy, 13 points off the bench. We did really well. All right, we got Eastern Kentucky. I'm not even going to check it, honestly. I, we should beat them, and if we don't, we don't. I, this this What I've been doing as a strategy has been working great, so I'm not really going to switch it in any case at this point. Well, it figures. I get super confident and nobody can stop us and here we go. We lost. <laughs> so that's what I get for that one. Cox played well. Um, House Hunter doing with his injury. Seven days left. It seems like he's doing okay. So we'll just keep on rolling with him. Um, Collins 11 off the bench. I mean, we did okay. Just not great. They shot really well, and we did not shoot well at all. So that's heavily where it lies. Mel Watkins did not have a good shooting game, and that really hurt us. Let's see where we're at in the standings since we only got a couple games left here. One, two, three, four. We're fifth. Uh, we shouldn't get lower. Like, there's not four games left, so we definitely are not going to finish last. Correct. Schedule two games left, so we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. We did not finish last. Uh, we um, we definitely are not going to finish last, so that's good. And we've almost got a winning record this season, which is impressive. I'm going to switch back to balance for this game because they have good inside players. It may not matter but we're going to at least give ourselves a shot with it. And we won, which is cool. Yep, beat him in the second half. How'd we shoot? We shot really well. Fox and Hunter, and I thought I saw Dowling got hurt. Yeah, that's the second time he's gotten hurt this year. Is uh, Hunter back yet? Four days, technically, or in... Watkins didn't play that long, but he still had 14 points. Graham had 13.6 assists. Yep, 
is actually kind of a low rebounding game for McConnell. Normally he has a lot more rebounds than that. So their guy had 22 points. Still lost though. All right, last game of the year. I want to. I don't know that we've played Murray State yet, so I want to see what their roster looks like. So they have a decent shooting guard. We're gonna definitely go down low. So we're we're just gonna go heavy inside on them. Let's check out our standings. So we can finish tied for fourth. We could get third if it all worked out just right. And the worst we can get is sixth. So I will take a year that ends up like that for sure. And this is a big win. If we can get this win, it's big too because it would put us over 500 for the year, um, which is uh, very necessary. Like, I would like to see that. I'd like to be over 500 as a coach. You don't want a losing season if you can help it. All right, we got the win to close out the season. Watkins played great, 22 points, five rebounds, but Graham played really well too with 20 points. Uh, Dowling did not play, but he's hurt, so that could be why. And Hunter has one day left, and he's he's back, so played pretty well. Their shooting guard played well, or no, that wasn't their shooting guard. That is their small forward. But played well. They, they had some guys do some things, but they still lost. So right now, on automatic bid level, I mean, we're out, it looks like. So 154 would have you in. And I don't even think we're lift, listed on who's out. Yeah, we're not. We're way down the list. But that makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't have put us in the main tournament either uh, at this point what is our net ranking 198 so i mean man we jumped a long way we've almost cut that in half just with our conference tournament so or our conference uh, gameplay so we did really well um let's just see how let's see how the tournaments turn out here so first round of tournament games here and then uh we'll see where it all goes all right, we can see the Ohio River Conference Tournament here. We're going to play the winner of Eastern Kentucky and Tennessee State. So, I mean, we have beat those teams, so we have a shot at um, going somewhere with that. The problem is is that even if we win that game, Southeast Missouri State killed us. And so I, I don't have a lot of hope after that, but we'll see how it goes. Well, we finished our conference schedule. We know that in the conference tournament we're going to be playing Tennessee State next uh, and we will go through all the tournament stuff end of year stuff uh, we will do that all in our next episode and uh, simulate through that thank you for being here thank you for uh, walking through this career and journey with me uh, if you haven't already if you would like and subscribe I'd really appreciate that it would help out the channel but it also would let you know the content that's coming up uh, and feel free to comment in any of the videos if uh, if you see something that I could do better uh, teach me I want to be uh, I want my channel to be teaching people and so if we can teach each other how to play games better we're all going to get better at these games together if you have suggestions for future games or anything feel free to comment on that um, if you want to learn something or, or you want me to try something I, I'm pretty open uh, feel free to throw those suggestions down in the comments and uh, I will see you next time.